Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 19th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a big inspired, um, earnings inspired gap up morning, but then we kind of popped our head into some price resistance and stalled and ended up with a little bit of a pop and drop on the day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we just settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Taking a look here at the diamonds, we have an interesting pattern here. Notice that we've got this W formation in the chart. We broke through that resistance yesterday on that move. Now the question I think to be answered in is, can we hold this area as price support? If we can hold this area of price support, then we very well may start an upside trend. You'll notice in here we've broken the downside trend. So if we can hold that higher low in here, then we would look for more upside. Unfortunately, we still have a massive amount of price resistance in this chart that we've got to deal with. And as you can see, we bumped our head into that resistance yesterday and just kind of stalled and reversed and come back down. So we'll want to watch that carefully and just realize that as we move on up in the market, or if we move on up in the market, we're going to continue to deal with these resistance levels in the chart. Now there was another reason that we made a pretty good move yesterday is first off, we had bond yields pulling back and the dollar pulled back a bit yesterday, gapped down, and that was um, mostly because of a Chinese currency operation where all of the Chinese um, banks got together, dumped the U.S. dollar, and bought up the yuan, trying to um, bolster um, the price of the, the yuan um, against the dollar. Unfortunately, that did not well, as you can see, um, that's not holding in here for today. In fact, our bond yields are surging back up as is our dollar here this morning. So we've got some issues here to be concerned about and you can see futures right now are pushing just a little bit lower here um, in the market. So watch that carefully in that pre-market. We may be pushing back down to test that level of support right here at the open. Even though we've been getting um, quite a bit of bullish inspiration from the earnings. Earnings. If we take a look at our SPY, very much the same thing. And and if you look here at the SPY, just it's just a bit more on that challenge side. It all depends on where you draw that. If we draw this trend down here, put that line up through here, then we pop through that resistance. If you were to draw this trend under the current price action, you can see we've got that little bit of resistance right there. So it all depends on how you draw that. Now I've been drawing this over and over and over with this in mind. Um, for that move. So I'm going to call this a breakthrough of that resistance and that downtrend, at least for the moment, kind of following along with the Dow. But you, we do have to realize that as we um, as we pop these, we have to prove to hold the higher low. Um, remember, it's the higher low that brings in the buyers. Um, institutions trying to decide where the bottom is, that's fine, that's fine and dandy, but be really careful chasing into this. We want to realize that we tapped our, uh, you know, tapped into that resistance here in the chart and we backed away from that here yesterday. So kind of keep that in mind. If we can hold this higher low in here, if we could rest a little bit, then that really could establish an upside trend but we um, also have to take into account that possibility that if those bears find that inspiration here today um, that possibility that we could fail back down through that area creating um, well essentially another lower high in the market 
um, on the on the SPY that wouldn't be good for us um, overall and if we look at those technicals in the chart I should have done this on the diamonds as well but if we look at the technicals in the chart boy we're just not really improving we've kind of popped our head into that 34 EMA pulling back our 50 day moving average is still declining our 200 crossing down through the 50 day moving average it's just not a good technical picture in these index charts our qqq well our qqq struggling a bit more here um, we have seen with the uh, semis um, struggling here um, we've been having some trouble um, moving to the upside now the Netflix earnings yesterday should help us a bit here but as you can see we're faltering here this morning in that pre-market we're having trouble holding on to that um, late market rally yesterday um, or overnight rally in the futures and just simply because we're worried about some data coming our way so keep an eye on that we have failed here at this price resistance we're still underneath the downtrend here the Nasdaq remains kind of the scariest of the indexes right now um, and the most vulnerable at the moment um, we've got a little tiny bit of price support right in here that we might be able to hold on to um, but if that were to give up then we're going to be looking down here at these levels in the chart and very a very realistic possibility that this is another lower high in an otherwise downtrending uh, NASDAQ and then if we look at our IWM IWM also had a pretty good day yesterday popping up and for a brief moment we breached this resistance area right here in the chart we popped right on through that but then we gave it right back up and as you can see we've got some significant price resistance in this chart to deal with but the good news is we did break through that downtrend so if we can pull back and hold this higher low in here maybe find some price support maybe through here or through here hold a higher low in that chart then we could begin that upside trend um, after breaking that downtrend but we do want to keep in mind if the bears find some inspiration here and we start breaking some of these levels to the downside well then we could just end up with another um, upsetting pattern here in the market where we've kind of double topped um, at this point and we would be pushing ourselves back down let's take a look at our VIX our VIX in here as you can see although we've been rallying very hard um, to the upside of these big jumpy gappy moves unfortunately we just really haven't um, made a convincing case here um, that fear has dropped in fact we've dropped back into some price support we did modestly give up that upside trend but it's not what you would expect with these big gaps and jumps that we've been seeing particularly in the Dow um, we're not really giving up the fear all that much so with that little bit of selling here that we might be seeing this morning we could see that regain that trend support here pretty quickly let's hope that fear doesn't spike up on the news I know recession fears continue to plague the market what we were continuing to be challenged by this resistance level in the chart but watch that close if we were to bounce back up off of there um, then that still puts that question mark in the market and um, could bring those bears back into some activity if we take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 last couple of days on the big gap ups so we've been popping up into this bearish resistance zone as a matter of fact yesterday at the morning open we were all the way up in into this area here um, we pulled back on the day with that pop and drop pattern and that brought us back down below that um, 90 level in the chart which means if we can find some bullish inspiration we certainly have upside opportunity that we can continue to extend this rally to the upside but we're going to need that bullish inspiration to really push us up there i think um, we do want to keep in mind that we have seen this um, just recently 
where we popped up into that area we couldn't hold and that's where the reversal uh, came into play now that doesn't necessarily mean we have to collapse all the way back down maybe we just go down and test some support levels in the chart so keep an eye on that but we certainly have plenty of room to move to the downside where our upside room maybe is limited so watch that close and if we look at our t2107 t2107 had a good day yesterday popping up um 27 percent of the stocks above the 200 day moving average so that was a nice improvement in that um that average and you'll notice right in here that we've still got a lot of downtrend resistance or a lot of price action resistance in the chart this downtrend has been defeated at the moment but the bigger downtrend we still have to work on whether we're going to push on up through there i still think there's good news in this chart though that we have not made new lows um, even though the market was selling off so strong we didn't make any new lows in here so fingers crossed maybe these um um, stocks underneath the 200 are starting to stiffen up just a little bit and then if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 also had a really good day yesterday with that big gap up 37 almost 38 percent of the stocks up above their 40-day moving average but unfortunately guys uh, the bigger downtrend is still a problem here and we've got a huge level of price congestion in here coming up so we'll want to watch that pretty closely certainly the short term that very steep short term trend um, has been defeated but yeah just not sure we're ready for this to just break out and and just shout the all clear has been sounded in the market our t2101 I'll get it here eventually. Our T2101 um, hooked to the upside uh, yesterday, as you can see. And that may mean, you know, with that pop and drop, that may mean that mo momentum for the upside move may have shifted just a little bit um, yesterday. And we could see those bears re-engage. We are seeing them re-engage a little bit this morning in the pre-market. It all depends on how that comes out. But one thing, if, if you want to have a little bit of hope, we broke that little upside trend here in the chart. So breaking that down, we could rally back up in here and then turn right back down um, with that bullish momentum pushing us up. But we'll want to watch that closely. And yesterday, again, until right at the end of the day, we had a very light volume day um, with a lot of chop um, in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here. Our economic calendar, we've got a couple things that we're going to have to think about. It's one of the things that's creating some of the volatility here this morning um, in the pre-market. Um, overnight, obviously, Netflix inspired some some buying in the Nasdaq, but we saw we saw China's um, um, or not China, but um, Asian markets. Um, mostly the de decline last night with um, the Hong Kong market, which is very tech heavy, doing the most of the selling, uh, selling off 2.3%. Um, um, we're also seeing European markets very flat this morning uh, because UK inflation has gone back up to a 40 year high. And this morning here in the United States, we're gonna be facing uh, housing starts and permits. And that's really raising the worries of inflation and recession again, as we head toward that number. Um, our bond yields have all spiked back up and we're sitting, and I showed you there where the US dollar is also pushing back up here this morning, rising up, creating that maybe that bearish pressure here in the market and worries of recession. So watch that closely. That number comes out before the bell. Won't be much we can do about it. So just um, be kind of watchful. Then we've got the petroleum status. That could be interesting. We've been seeing a little bit of demand destruction, um, seeing supplies suddenly rise here on petroleum status. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that continues to follow through or if the production cuts out of OPEC are starting to um, uh, create some issues. I, I don't think the production cuts have actually worked its way into the system yet, but we'll want to watch that number. Um, oil has been holding up pretty stubbornly strong, even though the president is now 
15 million more barrels out of the strategic reserve trying to keep those gas prices down ahead of the midterm elections. Um, let's take a look. We've also got a couple of Fed speakers and we've got a beige book report and a 20-year bond auction today to think about. And as you're planning into tomorrow, well, tomorrow could be a little bit more of a rough day. We've got jobless claims, Philly Fed, existing home sales, all of those are potential market movers. Um, so make sure you're planning carefully as you move through into Thursday morning. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is ramping up on those earnings and we're getting more and more reports out here. Now I'm not gonna be able to cover all of the earnings reports, the notables, um, as we move forward. So guys, please keep in mind, if you check the link, just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can pick up that full list of notables um, on the earnings calendar for the day. So remember that as we move forward because there's just going to be more that I, I just can't cover them all. So let's take a look. Uh, first off, um, ASML. Um, ASML this morning had a good report and they came out and said they don't think the um, the US curbs are going to affect them all that much and they had a good report popping up here so here's one of those uh, semiconductors trying to buck the trend move up a little bit now albeit we're still in a downtrend I wouldn't uh, exactly say this is ready for prime time even with the gap up this morning but watch that closely maybe um, maybe they're right maybe those curbs won't hurt them all that badly and it can start to come around to the upside. Um, we've got Alcoa reporting today. We're going to hear from uh, CCI. We're going to get um, a report from KMI today. Um, our big tech today that could really move us around would be Tesla after the bell today so keep an eye on that one. Um, and um, this morning Procter & Gamble Looks like it's trying to move a little bit higher here this morning. And we're going to even get some insurance in here. Um, travelers will be reporting today. It looks like they're pushing up a little bit this morning, trying to break through some downtrend here in the chart. So with that, guys, once again, if you want to catch that full list, make sure you click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. And keep in mind, guys, as we... Um, uh, before I get there, if you guys could help me out, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you guys can continue to do me that favor, clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I apologize guys, the last couple of days I haven't been able to answer those comments. I've got a really busy week ahead of me. My partner my partner is um, taking a few days off. Um, that puts me in a position where I'm covering two trading rooms, making kind of uh, for a busy day. Um, so I'll try to get to those today um, to answer those comments. But I want to say thank you to everyone who does continue to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here in the market. Now, I mentioned UUP rallying up. That could put some bearish pressure on the market today. And this could also put some bearish pressure on anything commodity wise, oil, gold, silver, steel, uh, copper. So keep an eye on that. Anything on the commodity basis side could have that potential for some bearishness today with that dollar showing some strength. On the um, looking out there for um, the bullish side, boy, I tell you, it's really hard. And particularly when we look at some of the tech, um, it's, it's tough to look at this chart as a bullish chart. Microsoft popped up. They, they uh, notified everyone that they're going to lay off about 1,000 people um, uh, to cut some costs and things like that. But I got to tell you guys, I think Microsoft is more of a short. And even though it's going to report here coming up next week, this right here is not a bullish chart. And um, 
a little bit of a problem here in the market. Now you could look at this and say, well, on their earnings report, it's going to be great camel. So, you know, hold on. And I would agree that might be a possibility. We do have a possibility of an inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be forming here. But that doesn't mean that we couldn't see Microsoft sell back off and test some of the support in here. So watch some of these tech stocks. They, they are setting up for potential shorts and we're not fixing things. Take a look at Meta. Um, as we move toward the Meta earnings, um, boy, there is nothing bullish about that chart here. And that's typically something we see heading into these earnings reports that, boy, we really start to pick up on that bullish energy here in tech. And I'm just not seeing it here this time. So Meta continues to set up as a potential short uh, following trend, rejecting resistance here could set up as that potential short if it holds in here again we have that possibility of that inverted head and shoulders pattern that could form in the chart so kind of all depends on how you look at that but a little bit of worry here in these charts now for the bullish side of things you guys might want to be looking at a little bit of the inverse um, ETFs take a look at like PSQ PSQ is a QQQ or the um, the NASDAQ um, ETF notice that we've been moving in this upside trend here on this that upside trend um, looks like it may hold in here and you can see we've got that little bit of bullishness now certainly we have to be worried about this resistance in that chart as well so keep an eye on this if we start to fail or falter maybe pop through here rest and then possibly move on up so if you're looking for some long trades and you don't want to be short the market you might want to take a look at some of the um, inverse ETFs. Take a look at SH. SH also in that very similar pattern here may be an opportunity for an upside move. With the market showing what it's doing this morning, I would be really, really careful with long side trades. Um, we're pressing resistance levels in the chart and right now we seem to be struggling with them. If we get a reminder that recession is on the way from that housing number today, we easily could see that bear come back here and push us down breaking some support levels in the chart and if that were the case if we start breaking down through areas like that um, in the chart then that raises that question mark again are we going to push right on back down in the market so be very careful now I know I didn't cover very many stocks here and I got to tell you um, it's going to be a little bit touch and go here as we press these resistance levels uh, for trade so be kind of careful I will say after we are now past the Netflix report and we have gapped up through this big area of price resistance in the chart I would be keeping a close eye on that for that potential of a little bit of a resting pullback in here and then um, that opens up that opportunity to fill this gap. So if we can get a little bit of a resting pullback, there may be that opportunity to move up in here into that chart. And I would say Netflix is also going to have knock-on effects for um, Disney. You might be taking a look at Disney. You might be taking a look at um, Roku. Roku could perk up, maybe even Comcast, and any of these streaming services could get some of those knock-on effects from the good report out of Netflix. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all the very best. Have an awesome day. Be safe. Be careful out there. Um, it, it could be a wild, it could be a wild hump day here with those bears re-emerging if that housing number is ugly. So be kind of careful. I want to wish you all a fantastic day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.